Martista Beauty and today I have a really fun and quick video that I think is super necessary at this point in my hair journey. I am giving you today an update on my hair in general from my natural hair to how I got this green color and my natural hair color of course and also my side cuts which a lot of people have been asking if we're still cut and they are so alright we're gonna get right to it. Oh, you're in an in-between phase in life that's kind of where I'm at with my hair right now because I am in an in-between an in-between phase a rock and a hard place um, so I know you guys know that last year I died well not even died I bleached the entire back section of my head and um, that and just like the perimeter all around to get it really super duper blonde but as we all know, bleach is so damaging. So um, I'm at an in-between phase with that because I'm like debating whether I want to like stick to my six month trim rule or just do another big chop, which is kind of like a setback in my journey. But as you guys saw with my four year natural hair anniversary, um, you know, I can navigate at this point in my natural hair journey through setbacks. And I feel like the bleach is just holding me back. Um, as for the color in the front of my hair that you guys have been asking about, that I used Clairol, um, I'm going to put the name in the description box, it's a, it's a blonde high lift dye, one of the highest lifts they have. And with that dye I used a 30 volume developer in order to get it to the color that it is now, which ironically is the same color as the bleach here in the back, but it's so much more healthy, is um, over the course of four months. I you know dyed it once each month so I definitely spaced it out more whereas the bleach was spin don't get mad at me guys but across about like two and a half <laughs> weeks so I'm not gonna lie it was pretty bad I did it really impulsively I know a lot of women when they do a second big chop they do a TWA but since you guys know I big chopped after a year and almost a year and a half um, of transitioning I actually have never had to deal with my hair super short so if I did chop it off it the shortest I would go is probably like shoulder length here so um, if you guys have any cut ideas or things you think would look nice send them my way you can um, you know message me on my email on tumblr send me photos um, so I'm gonna put my email So yeah, send those to me. Uh, I'm just kind of like brainstorming what I want to do with that bleach section now and I'm kind of in the mood to cut it because it's really holding me back and that's why I've been going all week crazy because, um, you know, just in an attempt to grow it out, I've just been protective styling and putting like heaps of conditioner in my hair. I'd like to start wearing my natural hair again, but I just, being in this in-between phase, I want it to be fly. And it's funny that um, the blonde hair in the front is actually really healthy, it's soft, still has the same curl pattern, easy to detangle, it's just that back section. So I need something where I can trim all around and get a nice even curly shape. But as you can see, it's been over a month and this hair still bah, is super, super, super soft. This hair came already pre-bleached in ombre, I'm going to show a clip right there. So as you can see, the hair was already really light. So, um, you know, the ends are still a bit dry, but that's natural. And it kind of goes away when I just deep condition the hair. All right, so the hair dye I used is by the brand Adore. It's super popular, dirt cheap, and it's a vegetable-based dye. And I used the color Aquamarine, which is a teal color. Knowing that this hair had yellow um, undertones, that was perfect. I didn't tone it. In order to get your hair blue, you're going to have to get all the yellow undertones out of your hair. But I wasn't going for blue, I was going for like a foresty green, so it was already the perfect color. And what I'm going to show in the clips here is what I actually did. So um, I made three batches of dye, one with just the teal color, one with like a little bit of conditioner that's a little bit lighter, and then one with more conditioner than dye. But that's what gave me this like minty... Um, I don't know what color to call this, like a mossy green color at the ends and then this really vibrant green at the top. I just kind of raked it through with the dark color up here and the roots were already jet black of this wig and then um, for the mossy color I just focused that on the ends and yeah, that's how I got this green. I am just on a color rampage right now. I've actually been this color when I um, 
bleached my hair. The back of it, I used this exact same dye and got my hair green in the back. But I think it's just better in general um, because anyone who's had color or a serious color knows that regardless of how much care you take of your hair, it is going to be a just a little bit damaging. Um, I mean, I've been doing my best with the front of my hair and it's, it's fine. But I'd rather do all my crazy colors on wigs so I can feed my fetish while keeping my actual hair healthy. I'm going to be showing you a lot of really cool amazing colors within the next month. I know you guys have been wondering how I secure wigs when I have um, a double side cut and it's actually pretty simple. I just um, I'll either there's two ways I do it. I'll either do cornrows going like this and back like not many like six um, depending on if I'm having a side part or one of the easiest ways to do it guys is just to do straight back cornrows that way you can put your part in the middle in the side whatever you can switch it up and usually when I do those I'll do like four or six with a part down the middle and three or a part down the middle and two so but yeah so um, that was just a brief hair update uh, don't forget to send me some ideas of what you think would look good for my curly hair and um, thank you guys for watching and subscribe.